Hello friend, welcome to episode 3 of testing tools series. Today we are going to take a look at the open source intelligence tool, Magrit. It is an awesome tool to search usernames from thousands of sites. You can see the website link here and also can find it in description. Credits to the developer of this excellent tool, SOXOJ. You can check him out. As you can see, Magrit collects a dossier on a person by username only. Checking for accounts on huge number of sites and gathering all information available from web pages. It requires no API key and also it is a fork of Sherlock. If you know, Sherlock is the tool we covered in episode 2 of testing tools series. Go check that episode out. So, continuing on Magrit, if you scroll down, you can see installation instructions. You can install it using pip, you can clone the repository, you can install it using docker. Here are the step-by-step -step in installation instructions that you can follow. So, today I'm gonna use pip to install Magrit. So, I'll just copy paste the code and it will install Magrit. You can see here is the basic usage examples. As you can see, Magrit username, HTML, a PDF. We'll talk about this tags in few minutes. So, let's check if our tool is installed. As you can see, Magrit is installed or not. Okay. So, to get the help menu of Magrit, we have to type Magrit dash dash help. So, as you can see, it says no usernames to check exiting. That means the tool has been installed successfully. Now, we'll type help to see all the ava all available uh, options. So, you can see here all available options that you can use. Positional arguments, which is necessary argument, username. Then, there are optional arguments that you can check them out. There are site filtering arguments, there are operating modes, there are output options, and there are report formats. We'll take a look at report formats after one example. So, let's test Magrit. I'll search my username on it, and let's see what it can find. The tool gives an output with accuracy of 70 to 80 percent. Sometimes the sites show the website page, but we don't have an account, so it glitches 30 to 20 percent. But most of the time, this tool is accurate. As you can see, it found my Facebook page, it found my Twitter, it found my GitHub page, and it gave me my, my GitHub pages numbers also. As you can see, it gave me UID my. Uh, picture, then the account creation date, the follower count, the following count, full name, public disk, repos, Twitter username. Then it also found my Twitch account, it found my Telegram account. I'm not on ZUZ, whatever this is. So the, that I was saying that if uh, it founds more information, that means the source is legit. But if it gives just this information, sometimes the source may be wrong. I'm on leeches, so this is right. But all the other things, I'm on. I'm not on that. As you can see here, I'm also on Python. I'm on Python and on leeches, but on the other sites, I'm not. There. See, it uh, leads starts the checking sites which are failed and then gives you a report. As you can see, search by username S41R4J return 26 accounts. Extended information extracted from 3 accounts. So, as you can see, uh, tags and interest quotas is detected are these. I can see these are not that accurate, the tags and the countries. The countries are taken from the website uh, extensions, but the tags are not that accurate, I mean to say. These are some common tags that everybody uses, I think. So, 
If you check the Migrates Help menu, you can see here there are different types of reporting formats. Text format, CSV format, HTML format. There is also XMind format. If you don't know, XMind is a mind mapping app. It gives you different types of mind maps. As you can see here, it gives you different kinds of maps that you can write on. So, this tool creates XMind format files also which will give you a tree structure of usernames and accounts file so for this example we are going to test a pdf and uh, what we could test okay we'll go with csv format so here we go as you can see, it will check all the lists and again uh, search all the sites. We'll see a demo in that thing. As you can see, uh, we can give multiple parameters and it can find multiple things based on the parameters. The more the uh, person's presence is online, the more usernames you'll find, the more detail you can find on it. This is the uh, format of XMAN X or mind map. So, the user names uh, search is completed. As you can see, the legit things have more details. As you can see, my GitHub account is there, it has more details. My Twitch account is there, it has more details. But, as uh, I don't have a Crossfire account, so it don't have many details. But it is there for some technical error. But, the Onsen investigator has to check or you who are using the tool has to cross verify if the account is there okay so it is attempting to restart the checks let it generate it has saved the report here it's generating the pdf report i guess Let's wait for a few minutes. As you can see, it generated the CSV and PDF format. So, uh, let us open the CSV format first. Okay, so, as you can see, it has generated a report for CSV format with the URL of the website and my profile URL. As you can see, there are many websites and it has availability criteria also. Account exists, is the website illegal or something and the HTTP status also, the website returned. As you can see, the website who returns 200 are for sure the account is there. But, if there is no account, you can see here on Zandex, it says available, but the HTTPS return code is 404. So, you can filter on yourself that uh, the availability is claimed and the HTTP status code is 200, that the account is there 100%. But, if uh, these two things are not there, then you have to cross verify and check the account. So, let's see the PDF format. As you can see, it generated a detailed report which you can use directly in your OSINT reports. See, it extracted my uh, image also, as you can see here. And this is a great detailed report of everything. This is my telegram, as you can see. And it has a detailed report of all the available sites. But you need to cross check all the sites and as you can see this account is there it is confirmed so it found more details about it the github account is there so it found more details so hope you enjoyed the tool and if you haven't seen the two episodes of this series do check them out on the playlist mentioned in the description also 
Do not forget to visit the website httpsgitup.com slash s11r4g slash youtube. Here you can find all the video related content I post, the material, extra materials about the videos. Uh, for the testing tool series, you can see the playlist link and the GitHub repo links. So this was episode 1 and 2. Do check them out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like and share.